prepared to embrace life, learning, and community. With hope, skill, understanding, and creativity. I am committed to the Quaker values of peace, justice, simplicity, and integrity. There had been talk about starting a French school just informally for quite a while. And then in March of 1986, several of us got together and said we ought to get everybody together who's interested in starting a school and seeing who, who's there, what their interests are, how much time do they have to give it, stuff like that. Uh, for me it was the peace movement, for someone else it was their child, for someone else it was the children that they didn't have yet but were hoping to have. For several it was people who were teachers who were not satisfied with the opportunities they had for teaching. I was here at Friends School for about two and a half years and when I first started there were 11 of us total in the school. It was, it was kind of like home. <laughs> I chose this school for my children because I feel 100% confident that they're getting the best education with the best values. It's very important to me to have them have a foundation of the Quaker values, the Friends School values. Um, so it's not just me trying to teach this to my children, but it's a whole community teaching them and actually showing them how it works. The students live the values that they learn here through pretty much everything that they do. Um, the conversations that we have at home are frequently focused on something that they learned at school. When we decide that we're going to attend a march for Black Lives Matter or um, the Science March or the March for Women, these actions are all a direct uh, outcome of the education that they're receiving here. Students learn that every story is important, including their own, and that everyone has a story, everyone has um, a way of knowing the world and seeing the world that's, that's different from others, and that that's valuable. And that's kind of the first foundational piece of building active citizens who will work toward peace. I think one of the most important things we teach with conflict resolution is that you might have a good um, perspective and something that's important to you, and I might have a good perspective and something that's important to me, and it doesn't have to be that one is right and one is wrong. People learn peace by being in an environment that encourages it, and that happens on many levels. It happens, it happens through the conflict resolution program in a formal way, but how people relate to other people is a very important thing. There aren't the barriers that there are in other schools. That's one of the things that's very important. The school has taught me to look at things from other perspectives and helped me not get stuck on the negative and look at the positive there is in the world. One of the things I've been taught is how to think and how to formulate my own opinions so I can communicate that to other people. And it's especially through conflict resolution, it's taught me to uh, not only communicate my opinion, but not to block out others' opinions. For Environmental Action Club, we went to the Minnesota Capitol and talked about why we thought that this legislation helping protect bees and other pollinators would be a good thing to pass. And that just left, I left there with a really good feeling about what we had done and tried to accomplish. Learning and kind of embracing the Quaker values as I was here uh, was really important. So something that I think Friends School really values is the value of community. I think it shows or it teaches you when you are, as a student, to contribute to your community. There's different ways to give back, there's different ways to be involved. So I think first and foremost the value of community is something that I've learned here and taken with me through high school and college and just how to be a part of the community that you're in. I wish that there were more schools available like this for every kid because there's no room here for children to fall through the cracks and to not be heard, not be listened to and um, I just wish that for every kid. Their world here is it's so full of hope. It's so, they're so excited, even just to try to pronounce my name in Spanish. They're so excited about the smallest little things that are so meaningful to them. What kids are right about and how honest they are in their writing, that leaves me with a sense of hope all the time. Even if they don't ever share it outside of that, I know that they have that and um, 
and it's part of them. Helping the world is something that you're probably not going to be directly rewarded for, but it will come back and it will make you feel good. That inspires me and I'm sure many other people to do good things.